auth is hard enough as it is. Be sure you understand the difference between two primary modes of authentication, API keys and token. In computer science, there are two hardest problems, cache, invalidation and naming things. They are super hard. What makes naming things difficult is being clear yet concise. There should be no doubt about the meaning of a variable, term, function or class. If you think a term could mean one or two things, it's not named correctly. Such is the case with API key and token. Hi, my name is Gaurav Garg and we are going to discuss about the difference between API keys and token. We can differentiate between the API key and token with the following definitions. API key is a value provided by code when calling an API to identify and authorize the caller. It is intended to be used programmatically and is often a long string of letter and numbers. Whereas a token is a piece of data that represents a user session or specific privileges used by individual user for a limited period of time. The method of creating is typically different between the two as well. In generation wise, API key creates one time, often through a user interface and remains static until rotated. These can optionally be configured to expire after a certain amount of time. Whereas in token generated dynamically on successful authentication or login event, often has a short expiration time but is able to refresh for longer periods. It wouldn't be discussion about auth without taking, without talking about permission scope. By permission scope, I mean the authentication portion or what functionality can be performed when using the provided auth method. API key is a fixed, unchanging set of permission to app capabilities. Whoever has the key can access the allowed resources. Whereas in token is limited to specific data or capabilities an individual has access to. This can be affected by our roles or other business level requirements. Tends to be more focused on data restriction. Now security wise, how secure is each method? If the key or token is compromised or acquired by a malicious user, how bad is the potential damage? In API key, since these are generally long lived and do not limit access to data, this can be devastating if compromised. They require the key to be revoked as the only means of resolution. Applications often need to have good observability to identify compromised keys and finding the malicious user. Whereas in tokens designed with security in mind, generally short-lived and easily revoked. A compromised token will only have scope of the data and user has access to and will expire automatically. Now let's discuss the use cases. When would you use one over the other? It looks like they have a good balance of pros and cons. In, APIs, in API keys, we can use for server-to-server -server communication accessing public data like a weather API, integration with third-party systems. Whereas token used for user authentication, find grain access control, granting temporary access to resources, browser access, and managing user sessions. So API keys and token have their pros and cons. One is not better than other. As with all the things in computer science, it depends on your use case when deciding which auth mechanisms you are going to implement. Consider how your user will be interacting with your application. Is it user-based session on the web? Go with tokens. Maybe you are expecting programmatically access only with no need to scope what data is available. Then go with the API keys. Feel free to save our reference table up top for quick reference. Regardless of the path you take, please remember to keep your data secure. Nobody wants a data breach to the 
take them out of business. If you enjoyed the video, please do like the video and share with your friends. For more interesting videos, please do subscribe the channel.